Time for another video. Just got back from work. Thought a good topic would be uh, fragrances. So we both work in the clinic hospital environment. Um, I know there are a lot of videos out there about um, you know top 10 fragrances for this, for that. Um, we thought it would be a good idea to do just a top few just for clinic environment or hospital environment, you know. We don't want to ever offend patients or other co-workers in, in, in the clinic or the work environment. So um, we got together a few of our, we have a pretty sizable collection, but we just got a few um, that we both liked and thought it would be a good top six list over here. So, um, well, actually seven, but one is uh, actually combo. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. But just to get it started off, um, Probably one that you guys have um, seen often. This is a Mancera fragrance called Cedrat Boise. I'm, I don't know how to pronounce all these, but um, you know, basic notes are going to be grapefruit or grapefruit, bergamot, um, cedar, and vanilla. So you are the one who primarily gets grapefruit from this, right? Yeah, I think it smells a lot like a. It's just a really good citrus grapefruit smell without being too citrusy. Um, it's pretty light, unoffensive. Wear it to the gym, wear it to work. Yeah, um, pretty versatile fragrance right there. Yeah. yeah. It's always a nice, simple mm -hmm. scent. Simple. It doesn't, it doesn't evolve much on my skin. I know people talk about how scents evolve and dry down and all that, but that's pretty pretty stagnant on, on my skin at least, just as a fruity kind of birch is what I get and that grapefruit vibe that you know, Crystal was talking about. Second one's pretty similar. I won't go too much into this. You guys know Creative Ventus. I got the whole flacon for the special 19, 2019 batch, so I wanted to hoard it before it ran out of stock, but that's a really potent juice that I wanted to keep for, for the ages, so that should last me a few years, hopefully. Um, not really going to go through the notes because it's just so similar to the to the other one. Um, third one on this list is going to be actually I'm wearing this right now is Silver Mountain Water. Um, this can start off pretty pretty harsh at least at first when you initially spray it. It's almost got that you know that metallic almost um, juniper vibe. It's that really potent. Um, spice in, in there, but then it really dries down into a nice uh, scent trail, especially at work. And for some reason, people have longevity issues with this, but on my skin, um, it lasts all day. I can still smell it on my scrubs as well. So I don't know if you've worn this at work yourself. I mean, so Varun is really the scent master, he's the one who's been in love with scents and perfumes, colognes for I don't know how many years. But he's gone through a lot. He's sampled a little bit of everything. So he came into the relationship with most of the colognes, yeah. let's be honest. But he usually chooses, for the most part, colognes that are um, unisex, that mm -hmm. both men and women can wear. Mm -hmm. um, there's a few of his that are more masculine. But even on me, I'll still wear them sometimes. Um, and, you know, everybody's scent is a little bit different when you, mm -hmm. when you wear the clone, so you just have to be open to trying different things. Yeah, I think the important thing there too, I know we, we see videos sometimes where, oh, this is a female fragrance, this is a male fragrance. To me, if it doesn't matter if it's female or male marketed. I mean, if it smells good and it works on my skin, I'm going to be wearing it. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's it's just universal. Fragrance is universal. So. And obviously, Rune and I have pretty different skin. His he has a little bit more of an oily skin. Mine's typically more of dry. So there's definitely things that yeah. um, will smell better on him or smell better on me. Mm -hmm. But there's been a few that smell really good on both of us. So we'll get to some of that later. Yeah. Um. So some of the ones that are on my side of the dresser. I'll go ahead and try and pronounce it. I might be a little better than. Crystal at least a little bit better, Definitely. but <laughs> Guerlain Gourmand Co Coquine Elixir Chardonnay. I totally butchered that, but we'll put all the names in the in the description. Yeah, 
This one I really like. It's more of a warm weather. It's kind of chocolate, rum, vanilla scent. Very, like I say, light and unoffensive. Can wear it at work and it has pretty good staying power. Um, so it's one of my favorite go-tos. As you can see, it's already halfway empty. And I just did some research on that today because we're gonna make this video. I didn't realize they discontinued that till today. And I looked up the prices on it and it dumbfounded me. I, I was dumbfounded by, by the price on that. So we're gonna be going through that real slow. We got about 45% left in there. So it's gonna be for special occasions only. And yeah. let's just leave it at that for now. <laughs> well, maybe Varun will do a video later on some of his others, but he also has some good insight on where you can find good discounts and how to look for um, good prices on colognes because they obviously yeah. can get pretty pricey. Oh, yeah. But that one is a, a pretty good classic, get a lot of compliments on it when you wear it oh, yeah. type of um, perfume. Right. Um, so the next one, so. We're on our final two, right? Well, two, so three total fragrances, but one, this is the combo one two actually. And a half. Yeah, two and a half. There you yeah. go. So this, this one I've been wearing a lot. I, we mentioned in our intro video that I'm currently pregnant. I'm just about 15, 14, 15 weeks. So first trimester, mm -hmm. obviously I've been a little bit more sensitive to smell. And um, this one, for whatever reason, has just been easier. So it is um, Jasmine Dior. Mm -hmm. De Jasmine De Anges. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, you can get... <laughs> Um, fancy about it but like I say we'll put the info in the description box but this one is just a really pretty floral it's not super florally like I don't know you know how you do smell some and it's like uh, it's like too outside or too tart or yeah some of the jasmine ones say. especially can get really just potent and disturb the peace in the hospital like too perfumey <laughs> I guess would be the thing like you can tell that it's a perfume. Also, um, some of them get really sweet, and that's not the case with this one. This is just a very light, airy fragrance. Yeah. But. Yeah. Um, so this one, like I say, it's been a good classic. This, we were talking about a combination, and part of the fun about colognes is you can start to combine them once you get more familiar. Yeah. This is um, B from uh, Zoologist. Zoologist. Yeah. And um, it really smells like, it's like a strong honey bee smell. Mm -hmm. um, it's really great by itself as well. And this one lasts a long time, but it smells really good when you combine it with the jasmine. Yeah. Go figure. You talk about layering those two, honey, mm -hmm. apricot, peach, all in one. It's got that light honey it smells so good in the air. Um, obviously yeah. up close it's going to smell good, but it leaves an excellent kind of scent trail when you do that. Yeah. And because this one is so potent and lasts a long time, I'll usually just like do one spray of this and mm -hmm. three of the jasmine and you mm -hmm. can smell it all day. And this is going to be even outlasting the jasmine. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's a good combination that... I enjoy quite a bit. It's kind of an undiscovered gem, I would think, among even, you know, the real frag heads out there, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> yeah. Our last one comes from a big company. Um, primarily, the fragrance that's popular in this is um, Baccarat Rouge. You guys definitely heard of that. Um, we didn't care much for that fragrance. In fact, mm -hmm. I, I just never understood that one. It's a sugary you know kind of burnt almond sugar and didn't get much I, I just couldn't understand the fragrance that much i felt like i was seeing it you know everywhere people posted on pinterest or their mm -hmm. i don't know um whatever different pages and i even went back and was like well let's go smell it again yeah um because i don't know there's i kept trying we kept trying yeah. i mean i had initially smelled that maybe three or four years ago and i, I didn't like it that much then then we saw it blow up on, what was it, Instagram? Okay. Instagram's most uh, popular fragrance. Anyway, from the same house, um, 
This one is called Masculine Pluriel. And you see how much it's gone. We need to get another bottle pretty soon. <laughs> so we've been using this. This is our number one. Um, notes, the primary notes that I get are lavender, cedar, and patchouli. That kind of sweet, crisp. Um, also, I get juniper. I don't know if that's in the actual notes. Um, but I also get that kind of pointed smell, that crisp, professional smell. So great for, you know, when I need to dress up to do any formal um, clinic visits or whatever it may be. But even for you, for both of us, I mean, we wear colognes and perfumes for ourselves. But the number of compliments we have gotten, both of us, from wearing this has been unbelievable. Yeah. I wear it quite a bit and I remember the first time I wore it to the clinic, one of my nurses walked through the hallway and she's like, oh my gosh, like, is there like some handsome man that just left? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> that might be me. Um, but so it is, like you say, a little bit more like masculine tones as it goes through, but it is mm -hmm. so pleasant. It's just, you know, it just smells really nice and uh, yeah, so it's something that lasts a while it it follows you as you go yeah you know during the day i mean this when you put this on you will feel like a different person this just exudes it screams class is what it makes me feel at least when i put it on i mean it's like wearing makeup it just it's something i have to wear and you know wearing cologne for us for for me i remember recently i just texted you <laughs> i forgot to wear cologne perfume to the workplace and I felt I was afraid <laughs> so the feeling just overwhelmed me I couldn't so I went I, I there was some Febreze in in the clinic and I went ahead and just sprayed my skin and sp sprayed all over my clothes and called it a day so I, yeah. I felt kind of safe and I do remember getting that text so Varun you know his last name is pretty hard to pronounce so he goes by you know Dr. Varun or Dr. N or some of his staff you might know him as Dr. Smellgood so he's kind of known for his colognes and and smell and even my staff is aware of that <laughs> separately yeah. so yeah I remember I got that text from him and he was legitimately worried about it <laughs> but, Oh my gosh, what are they going to think? I'm like, I'm sure they're not going to notice at all, but... <laughs> Fortunately, it's still cool in Austin, so, you know, yeah. Austin's one of those places it gets to 100, 110. Got to put something on, so... Yeah. That was our video. Anything? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think, you know, obviously there's going to be some controversy to wearing cologne and perfume in the workplace yeah. in general. Certainly, you know, being sensitive and obviously we go into a lot of patient rooms all day long. Some people are going to be more sensitive to that. I have personally never had a patient have any issues with these um, per perfumes and colognes that I've worn. Yeah. And you want to keep that in mind. You want to make sure that um, you're not doing anything that's going to cause an allergic reaction. So. Um, or cause much offense to whoever you're around. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know. But it does make it is nice to smell nice, and you know I wasn't as into perfume and colognes um, before I met Varun. I had a few, um, but now that I wear them more often, I do get compliments, and it's just nice to know that you smell good. Mm -hmm. And it's also preferable to smelling bad and having to be in close proximity to your patients. So, you know, having a good, you know, just a couple classic um, perfumes or colognes that you can wear that aren't going to be offensive um, is going to just be more a part of that persona that you give off mm -hmm. and um, will give you some confidence yep. as well, I think. Yep. I don't have anything else to add, so we'll see you in the next one.